Hello and welcome to day 29 of Hashtag July Postcard Play, hosted by Carrie the Crafter. And I was sort of in a doodling mood after I got my uh, Sharpie acrylic paint markers from um, Amazon Prime Days. I just thought um, I want to play with them. I got the brush tip ones because I do. I did buy the uh, black and white bullet tip and I did find them a little bit thick. They're a little bit thicker. So I wanted to try uh, the brush tips. Uh, I was chatting with Colleen uh, the Scrap Chick and um, well, she used to be the scrap tip, Colleen CK Art, and she really liked the brush ones. So I thought, let's just do something quirky, easy, um, just doodle. I found this little sketch I had done, I think probably while I was talking on the phone one time, and I thought she might be fun just to doodle. And again, we're doing a four by six cards, so I have to decide which part of her to doodle. I think I'll do that and I may not stay, you know, exactly um, true to the original uh, doodle. So they come in a variety of colors. I'm just going to dump them all out. I've used uh, Posca markers and other acrylic markers on the gel plate before, but um, I assume these are going to be very similar. So let's just outline a lot of her in black to start. And I'm going to just kind of go at a slightly different angle, just so that I can kind of be over top of her. And remember, whatever you put down first is what's going to show the most on your print. So for example, I'm just going to turn this over here. You do have to let these dry before you pull them. So whatever is on first is going to show up. I haven't decided if I'm going to totally color her in with Posca's or if I'm going to use some pan pastels. Um, I did use some pan pastels uh, to do these pages that were traced from a coloring book. Uh, that was the first pull. This was the second pull with the leftover pan pastels. And then I added some details with um, metallic markers, gel pens, and some pencil crayons. So, and then there's several pulls after that as well. So I'll, I'll link the stream that I did this on and I'll try to put in the um, description what coloring book that was from. Cause it was a book that um, Dee Dee Willingham, I, she sent me a page from it. So I'll try to link that. So this lady is not gonna be so pretty. She's just gonna be a wonky quirky queen, I think. Okay, so back to the fast forward. So I'm going to let that part dry and then I think I'm going to add some pan pastels around the outside 
I'm going to leave her face, I'm going to pick it up with white, I'm going to leave her face white and her neck white, but I might fill in her hair and her dress. Working with the brush tips was very, very pleasant. And these were nice and juicy, like they flow very easy. You could get a fine line and a flat line. It's just a fun doodle exercise. Her face is very, very crooked. <laughs> very crooked. <laughs> it's a little wonky. I'm trying to decide whether I should do that nose or not. If I should outline her lips with the black. I think I will. I think we'll just go for it. And then we'll let it dry. Add some pan pastels and then pull it. Just even out her face a little bit. And I decide to add just a few more details to her nose, give her her crease and maybe a little bit of eyeshadow. So after a few minutes, the um, acrylic markers are dry. So I'm just going to be colorizing this with some gold pan pastel. And it's very um, fine. It's not like a gritty uh, shimmer. So it's a very lovely gold. And I'm just going all around the background with that. So I'm thinking these um, acrylic markers are pretty opaque. What if I back her dress in black? She have this shiny uh, black. It's not gritty though, so it should be fine to use on the gel plate. We'll use that. Ooh, I got a lot on there. That yeah, it's dripping. Shake that off. Let's just do her whole dress with that. make her ears black because I gave her little cat ears. So I'm going to make them black. And then let's use pink as a background for her hair. I'm just going to go ahead and use this makeup just to show that I keep talking about how you can use makeup. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to use this yellow also just for fun now this makeup is not quite as uh, pigmented as the pan pastel that's okay i'm just going to do the pink one more spot here so it's just a quirky, a quirky lady, just for fun. I missed some gold there. And remember the paint was still in the pan pastel. Hair's looking a little crunchy. My face is coming off okay. See, I think there's a lot of black um, pan pastel and it, it picked up on the brayer and went up on her forehead, but maybe we'll just go for it. That I'm not gonna bother picking up. I'm just gonna clean that just off. Just kind of fill in a little bit there. Just a little bit. All right, and we'll go here. It's not beautiful, but it's fun. So do you need do you need a gel plate to do this? No. But it does give it a little bit of a grungy um, a grungy vibe when it doesn't pick up 100%, like especially her hair. I'll show you that in a second. You can see how her hair, it's kind of missing pieces. And here I forgot to color it in with the, with the makeup, but that's okay, we're just gonna leave it. And here it's kind of grungy. I'm just using this, um, kind of like a distress crayon. 
white highlight in her eye. Let's pull out her handy dandy ink tense pencils and we'll just add a bit of black. Activate them with water. I'm just going to kind of grungeify her a little bit more. So here's our finished card for day 29. I used a 19 from uh, Pim Artist Studios uh, printable numbers and I changed it to a 2. So 29 there. And I did add a bit more shading than what I ended up showing uh, with the ink tense pencils. I used the black a bit more under her eyes. I kind of blended in the red of her or the pink of her nose a bit. Uh, gave a little bit more darkness to the, um, the lips. Added a highlight on her nose. I outlined the earrings and added the highlights and uh, made her um, blended in the um, the crease, uh, the, the eyeshadow a little bit more with some ink tense pencils and water. So once you activate the ink tense pencils with water, they're pretty much permanent. So that is our final card. Uh, she's a little bit creepy looking. My family thinks she's very creepy, but I think she's fun. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching day 29. We're almost near the end. We'll see you for day 30. Bye-bye.